Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, and this is NBA 2K22 on 2K Sports. What's up there folks, another NBA, another time for a game matchup, as with me and Son of Beast here on this one, I was here for the last time for Denver Nuggets and LA Lakers, and you were on the sideline here. Do you want to do that one again? Well, I wouldn't just talk too much anyway, because of that, it doesn't uh, feel comfortable for me. So I decided to let you handle it. You already did this once, but I'll let you go here twice. Or more than times. And then if we have it evened up, we'll switch it back in the other way. Of course we can do that. That's a lot of uh, good uh, confirmations out here. Plus, um, we've got another matchup here for you. This next matchup is about to take it on. Without handling the pressure, it's the Houston Rockets taking on against the Orlando Magics at Orlando, Florida at the Amway Center. We have some couple players that are able to take it from here as Mohan Bamba is still here with the game. But Markel Fultz, well, he's not on here anyway, so what else could there be? There may not be any other choice here, but I, this is going to be a lot of uh, hard, hard time for Orlando Magic to take it in possession. If Houston Rockets could try to fix things out a bit, then they could do that one right on the line. So here are the starting lineups for the Rockets. We have is Kevin Porter Jr., Jalen Green, Eric Gordon is still back here with the Houston Rockets, never left already. It's Jay Sean Tate, uh, or Tate I should say. I don't know if I said it correct, but uh, let me know if, it, if I make a uh, correction. And Christian Wood. All the five players here in the Houston Rockets. And now your turn to take the Orlando Magic. Who do we have here? We have Cole Anthony, Gary Harris, Frank Wagner. Franz Wagner. There is no K in that one here. Whoops, my bad. Franz Wagner, Wendell Carter Jr., and Mohan Bamba. Everybody's favorite player from the Orlando Magic. Yeah, that is correct. We're about to heat things up here. To pick it up from this section and we like to do it a different like on the set not sure what they are going to do but this will be the narrow one to take it from here on a different look on a different side we should probably get right into statement to give this one a go i think that's a good idea let's head you over to amway center for the game's presentation Thanks for joining here for another amazing NBA 2K matchup of Season 6 here at the NBA 2K22. And let's get you over to David Aldridge. David? Thank you very much, Kevin. Well, Cole Anthony has made a name for himself when it comes to hitting cold-blooded game winners. He said, I do this, man. I was bred for this. I'm not the type to go high. I live for these ending moments in games. Crunch time. That's my time, guys. Thank you so much, Sir DA. Now we're checking out with the starting lineup, so we have a good one here. And we'll look at that. Aaron Gordon played for this season 50%, only 57% for 10 last games. That's a lot of a uh, lot of games that he has. You know that Eric Gordon really has a lot of uh, ability. He's playing here all along here with the Rockets. And with that one, he might have a lot of chances if he can do it. Your key matchup here is Kevin Porter Jr. and the other player that turned out to be just like that. Not too much uh, to say, say about the Houston Rockets, but the new head coach is here. It's Steven Sillis. Steven Sillis is the only uh, head coach he had made his career. Definitely not the rookie for the, for the coach, but that's, um, that's a different setup that he has ever made from taking the uh, handle on the court. So we're ready to get this thing on the board. Who's it going to be? And some magic with the win of the tip-off. We are underway here in Amway Center. First start time. Never seen that one here playing before, but we only spied out by Aaron Gordon and Nikola Jokic were the team, were the players that played last time here in Orlando Magic. But soon, for our next game, we will see the Bulls first nursing the Toronto Raptors at Toronto in Canada to face against the harder team challenge here on the other side. From the other angle, no good on that one, as it turns around to uh, Anthony. No Bamba going in there in a drive, and this one calls a foul on Wood. That will be his first, first team foul. Bobo Bamba. 
Oh Mama, this is a real nickname that turned out to be just like that. But that's what everybody calls him, Mobama. They really like that name because that is a, is a, a neat nickname here. Mohammed Bamba is the only guy that he has ever had done before. He's like a killer. With Markel Fultz being out at this point, we have spoken out that a couple of players were getting vaccinated out here and they were unable to play here for the games here from each states. What is the difference here between the uh, players and not playing here on the court? Well, I expect that because they were getting positive on that one here from COVID, because of that one, we've only seen Kyrie Irving here playing against the other teams with the Bulls, and they destroyed it the last time, and they played really hard to take it from the other lane in this setup. So we're unsure if Kyrie Irving will return next season for 2022-23 because of that, he, he may be not vaccinated or vaccinated if the COVID will slow it down. Now here's Anthony, taking on his Obama. Obama back to Anthony, now he rolls back to, right to Harris. Looking for our three-pointer here, but decided not to go right to Obama. What a play here for Harris. First assist of the game, that'll be the third basket of the night. Here's Gordon, right inside. Harris contests the shot, and it's Wagner with the rebound. Another miss by Houston. Here's Carter Jr. I've been able to see him play, and yeah, I, I expect that. I expect he has never done it before, but that's a lot of hard, hard work and dedication that he has ever done. Wagner outside for three, and that will rebound it up by Gordon. There's no three-pointer congested for Wagner. Here's Gordon with only 4.15 remaining. Gordon not able to pick it up, but the rebound is on Wood. Oh, it's Bobama with the block. What a play here. That was the best play on defense. Wow, what a handle. Bamba looking over with the fade right over to Anthony. Outside at three. Harris with the miss of the outsiding range. Oh, Obama blocked it, but the but the Rockets decided to reset it and not take the pressure. Another miss here for Eric Gordon, and they're on trouble. No scores for the Rockets yet. Obama right to Wagner. Wagner goes right to Anthony. Anthony hasn't been able to play this one better than Anthony Edwards. That's going to be a different uh, matchup here. Mori to shoot. Bamba try to win. The shot clock will almost expire, but now this will turn the other way with the Houston ball. Green outside. We got another green here that plays with us tonight. Porter rolling around, trying to fix off the round, and tries again. And it's Anthony with the block. Another miss by Houston, and another one goes out to Obama. Number three rebounds. Three rebounds, not just only one, but he is just picking up on it. What a play. Anthony right to Wagner. Wagner goes right to Porter. Anthony for three. Hurries it outside. That turned out to be a three-point play for Orlando. The first timeout is called by Houston with 2.28 to go. That's how you get started here for this one. Players are just like killers. They are on, ready to take it from here. And with some impressive run of a score here for tonight, we've also checked the standings here. Now we have nothing to, to check it out, but we've seen some uh, teams that are in first place out there. Some of the difference here is not just quite enough, but it keeps it out here better and better. Bulls are still in first, but they're tied up with the Miami Heat with 27 wins in a row. And for in third place, they turned out to be Brooklyn with 26. And the Bucks could make a score here if they could try to win it to face the other way. The Bucks already have just gotten a uh, make a win here against the Pacers. If you've seen the last video, Make sure you head over to the calling card on that section. That links will be right down in the description if you would like to check out the Inanimate Sandy store. 
few changes are being here for this one. We have Daniel Feist, not able to play here with the Chicago Bulls. Uh, he decided to go with a different look here. Daniel Feist has already had played with the Celtics and one time with the Chicago Bulls. But he decided not to play with them. He wants to help him out with Eric Gordon from the Houston Rockets. And he made it and he has confirmed that he wants to go there at that time. Outside green. Green for three. Doesn't hit that time as the shot is missed. Robin Lopez gets her first rebound here. He will try to take a look over. Two minutes to go here for the first period. Okiki. Hampton going back out there. Rose. Ross back out there. Just trying to look for an open pass. Hampton right over to Okiki. The shot up. And he makes it in there. A three-pointer for Okiki. And they are leading up by 12. Okiki, he's just not really deciding to go with the shot. He was going to try to make an air ball out of him. But that was a really close call he had turned out. First foul called on Robin Lopez. It will be his first. First team foul on Magic. Robin Lopez, he was able to play with that one. He know he misses his brother on Brooke, but Brooke is still playing with the other team. That's a lot of hard, uh, hard communication out there. But hopefully, he will try to sneak things up a little bit more better if he, if he is keeping an eye on it. Now with Green at the free throw line, he will take two shots with just a minute and 25 to go. Makes the first one in there. And stay too, because we have the All-Star coming in here for the NBA this coming uh, month of February. And we will like to check things out over and over again. What do you think of uh, what do you think the players will be? I have some higher uh, higher franchise players, but not just a couple of them who are who are, who are not in real franchise. There, I have some uh, superstars here to bring them up here in this game by team by team. And without Kyrie Irving, I will definitely say that Kevin Durant and James Harden can be the only ones to be in the All Star. Okiki out here for three. Another miss by Orlando Magic as they will have the ball. They already scored once, so it's 12-2 run. Here's Sengen with under a minute to go. Brooks on Hampton. Green on Ross. Screen coming in. Three-pointer. And that's in there. That will be Green's first three-pointer of the night. It's 12-5. They're, they're trailing by seven. Now in the corner is Ross. Ross back to Hampton. 40 seconds to remain here in the first period. Okiki goes right in there. Finds Lopez. Over Vice. Tough shot, but he makes a rebound. Okiki resets it. Tries to fix it up. Hampton looking over in here. Drive, fades, and makes the layup. Without the foul call, Okiki gets another assist. That's enough. That's the first basket for Hampton. What a drive here for Hampton. He's like on, he's like on the roll. Being able to travel it up, but that's a lot of uh, dedication out there. Green trying to find a look on here, and he's trying to find open shot. Broke up. The three pointer is no good, and the first half, first period is closed. With 14 to five score, they have it on on the target. We will be right back with the second quarter after this. You know, coming off the bench, you kind of have a feel for the game already watching it. And um, starting, you're starting off, so um, just got to start fast. And um, I got to come in ready to play from the, from the jump. Kevin Porter Jr. was able to play with this one. But now it's, it's his turn to try, give it a try here on the Houston Rockets. First time playing here, first time on the ever. Three-pointer, not a bad look here for Brooks. And they are keeping it up by the total amount here of score by eight. Here's Hampton looking over as Okiki. Okiki going right over to Rose. And a little bad pass already, but it's still pulled on by Wagner. Back to Okiki. Ross trying to make the shot. And Ross picks up the first basket here 
He's got a good look to the two. Flipping over to the left screen five, friends, our leadoff has changed because Phoenix Suns are in a lead. And what's the uh, total uh, difference here between the Suns and the Golden State Warriors? They played really hard on offense, but didn't try to sell well here on defense. Well, those top players can be very tricky out there. If, if Phoenix Suns are in the uh, are in the number one seat, then they, they might be handling it out there. They might keep it going. I've never seen them to win here. I hope you think they might be going to the finals again. But we'll see how this goes out for their team. After a three-pointer made for Magic, here's the number uh, other hand here for Houston. Brooks goes out here, first three-pointer tonight. Looks over as Christopher, up again, doesn't make the shot, and a rebound takes off by Hampton. Ross goes back the other way, back to Hampton. He only gets his first rebound here for the game. Trying to find a right, help out in defense, or to offense. And Robin Lopez, no problem here, as Rose picks up the assist. Ross, I meant. Sorry about that. Yeah, no worries, it's all good. And now the timeout is called by Rockets. Houston, which is 4-1 remaining. 21-8 is the score. New changeups, and we will be coming back here along the way. Couple new changes here for Orlando and the Rockets. Let's have a look at the Eastern Conference. Orlando is still trying to uh, keep the uh, keep the momentum here alive. They're just trying to like get into the playoffs, but they are having trouble picking up over here. It didn't really stop that well, but that's a hard time for Orlando to keep it up. Keeping it going is Harris with the with the ball after Anthony with the steal. That will be another turnover. First turnover on Houston. Harris back to Anthony. Cole up. Shot doesn't go in there as Christopher grabs the rebound. Porter Jr. coming in around. Finds Christopher on Harris. Finds Tate. Tate back to Christopher. Five to shoot. He has to get open right now. Can't lose it. Chris up. Shot is off. As Mofamba takes the rebound. Harris back in the other lane. Here's Anthony in the corner. Wagner still has it on the uh, on the game bridge, but still doesn't have enough to make momentum. Harris outside. Going in. The drive. Reverse it goes. Harris picks up his first bucket here. And they are keeping a pressure alive. Look at that. Harris is just like an unstoppable run. I can honestly say that looks like a Kyrie Irving reverse layup on the other direction. I like that one. The number missed here for Houston as the number one goes up by Anthony. Harris picks it up as he only has his first basket for tonight. Wagner still out there. Bounce pass to Bamba. Now the screen can help him out for Bamba. Anthony up. Doesn't hit that time as Gordon hits the rebound. Now, oh, here he comes. Oh, Gordon slams it a row and didn't want to hesitate. Just two minutes here for the first half as the score is 23 to 10. Anthony right to Harris. Harris trying to find a look on the open offense here. Finds Wagner. Goes right to Anthony. Try to pick up the middle. Jumper, run around, and he makes it through. Anthony picks up five points. And Wagner with the assist on the game. Wagner, he still has a he still has that momentum out there. That cut in right in the paint was gonna give him a hard time. But when he comes in there, that's gonna be another one. Oh, what a block here for Bamba! And Wood has still has it out here to make another point. They're trying to keep it going here without the uh, first half close off. Looking over is Harris. Harris looking over is Bamba. Bamba right over to Wagner. Wagner back to Anthony, back to Harris. Just six to shoot. Steps in there. And that's a good solid deep here on Christian Wood. That will be first another rebound. 
Wood. Oh, Gordon trying to make that one a, um, a up and over scoop. Trying to make that one another corner. Another angle for Anthony. Here's Carter Jr. He still hasn't able to make his score in his debut. Wagner still out behind. Anthony rolling in, cutting drive. Anthony with the amazing layup. That's seven points in a row for Anthony to pick it up. And they are still extending the lead. Anthony, he's like already on the board. We could give him that credit here to the New Balance player of the game if he keeps it one alive. Four of the three stars of the game. Ten seconds, and oh, coming back in there is Bobo. And that one's going to carry through with the end of a closing first half. That will do it from here. 27 to 14 is your score here in the first half. Check out the first half summary of the Rockets and Magic. Jack, let's get your input on the Magic. Paul oh, Moomin was a real factor. A little selfish with the patience. The guys got shots in their favor sometimes. If those harvests didn't look to see the thing to happen. And over to Kenny. What did you think about the Rockets? Well, they're out there blue good deep. Guys were getting burned on the point. They put the hand up, my man. Here are the shots that they made and some others. Now it's time to catch you back at Orlando. And we'd like to welcome you back here at the Emway Center as we're ready to start the third quarter with a scoring run of 27 to 14. Cole Anthony able to make his uh, game a bit better. And with such shots that he had made, he tried it all. Well, I personally agreed on it, on you, but that my moment of the uh, thing that uh, Cole Anthony has definitely made here was just how, how how incredible he had made so far in the first half. But that's a lot of a dedication out there that he had turned out to be just better. But maybe he might turn out without the other players, without uh, Aaron Gordon and Nikola Jokic, or Vucevic, I meant. But that's going to be a little bit hard on that one. And checking out the mobile one block is Mobamba with an amazing mobile one block. Uh, yes, that's all I'd have to hear. Mobamba keeps this one alive, and he has turned out a lot of pressure here on offense to defense. He's like a killer out there. You gotta watch out on him. Rebounded up by Carter Jr., and he will roll it over to Bamba. Since David can't, couldn't, uh, couldn't able to make the half court, we they already had taken a break here. They will have to uh, come back here for the post game show. Another turnover. This turned out to be a very hard time here for Orlando Magic to keep an eye on the run. They got to really be careful at that point. Gordon on Wagner. Screen coming. Stays alive for Gordon. Mama on him. Wood on Wagner. Five to shoot. Finds Green with the three. Almost went in and out. But it doesn't go in there. As it already turned out to be in and out. Wagner finding Bama. Bama the quarter junior. Right over to Anthony. The bounce pass is taken away. And Green coming down with a fast break. He goes up, makes a shot. That's a number two pointer here for Green. Um, you can definitely say that the, you can definitely tell that Jalen Green is trying to keep it going. Without him saying it, that's all he has to hear. That's what he, that's what you know, how he can get up there and try to fix it. Harris able to dish it off. Shot in trouble, but he still has it on the board. Harris gets four points, second bucket of the night. Here's Porter Jr. on Anthony. Wood on Bama. He's got great blocks here, so we have to see what happens. Oh, another block for Bama. Oh, wow. He might be the one star when he can face it. Wagner is still on here. Harris looking back over the wing. Moving over is Anthony, and now the screen will help him out. Almost like loose. 
And it doesn't go in that time. Another turnover here for Orlando, and oh, here comes Green. Green with a drive, and he makes it in there. Now the next timeout, called off by Magic with 3.49 to go. 29 to 18 to score on this run. Uh, sometimes I totally feel that, that something was going to happen on that point. It was very, very tough to find out what will happen. And if you stick up here for the, uh, for the defender, there's a lot of choice that everybody is having trouble trying to keep it from defense. This one alive. We have another change up here as Robin Lopez is checked back in for Wood. Also with Hampton on, on the other team. Sengen, Fies, Matthews, and Brooks checked in. And Bamba will be checking out as Robin Lopez will check in. Wagner moves over. Kiki, Ross, and Hampton are still trying to keep it going. Robin Lopez, no problem as he makes another shot. That's the second bucket here for Robin Lopez. They're keeping it up high. Now, here comes to the number break here, and a dunk is up there. He's picking up another score to hit this one. They're outscoring the Rockets bench by nine for this run in each half. Ross right over to Okiki. With the shot, Okiki doesn't hit that one in there as Green picks up the rebound. That's a lot of great defenders out there. They are on. They are on target. They always showed up. That's what they really got to do. Green in on Ross. 2:43 to go here. Avoiding the screen on the Magic and finds Sinkin. Sinkin is short, but he has a rebound and he takes it off from here. That will be another first bucket for tonight. and outscoring the teams another one again and again. Now they're trying to look on the run. Hampton looking over, flipping around the other end is Hampton. Another pass here by Robin Lopez with the assist. That will be four buckets for Hampton. Another drive. This turned out to be another one for Brooks. They're keeping this one score up. To two minutes to go in the third period. It's 33-24. I gotta tell you that Brooks really has that more and more momentum. He has just gotten a little better. Not too much here, not too much there. It's just very, very tough on the score. Robin Lopez delivering a number two. That's another bucket for Orlando. Making it up here for six point one score. Now Hampton on Brooks. Reeds trying to find his way. Buys with the screen, but it's rejected. Rebounded by another one for Orlando. And it's Wagner. Oh, Fies with a bad pass. He goes up. Doesn't hit that time as he has to try to reset it to, to uh, fix it on offense. That little bad one on offense here. It looks like that Wagner just, uh, just lost the ball on that one. When Daniel Feist had it, it got him. He already had that ball. Okiki with the three. It doesn't hit that one in there. Another, another rebound for Green. Green. Try to face one of the attack. Finds Brooks. 43 seconds to go. Almost lost the ball. Goes up. Rebound by Sengen. He goes again. Another rebound. Sengen finds the answer back, and he picks it up by a number two. They're keeping it on alive. I know that sent gun out there. It was very hard on that run. But that was gonna be a very tough year on offense. They're trying to pick it up. Ross able to catch the three. He doesn't hit that one in here. No open shot made. And the defender was on him. 10 seconds to go. Matthews finding Feist. Green in the corner, going in the paint. Another drive, they're keeping it going. Hampton, a buzz beater. That doesn't go in that time. That ends the third quarter, 35 to 28. 
the Rockets are coming back in there, and they have uh, they have one more chance to take on in the final quarter. Will the Rockets win, or will Orlando Magic make a thrilling win? Find out after this when we come back. And a moment now to check out the State Farm assist of the game. With that play, I'm definitely saying that there's a bunch of players that are going right in the line. And you could tell that uh, Wagner was there. He finds Anthony, and without that play, he really had it all. A lot of great pressures here, a lot of good offense, good communicating skills, but that's all we have to do. We just played three quarters this time. It's now the final quarter of the game. And they're all fueled up and we are ready to go. Rose, and there's a foul called on Tate. So Ross is gonna have to go to the line to shoot three. Unbelievable, I was not expecting that. I've never seen that play. And with that, any questions out there for Ross, there's a lot of play here for Ross, and that was like a terrible call. He landed right over and crashed on Ross. That's what happened. So it looks like he's gonna definitely have to do the three. That's all there is. Ross hits the first. You can see that the, that the head coach was out there. He was not able to uh, communicate at that point because the offense was trying to like go right over it and try to fix it across. That really happened out there. And I thought the question is, if he went on a two point line, that would have been his idea to shoot for two free throws. And with one more shot, he made two of them in a row. He has one more to take. Answers it. All three points in the free throw line, and they're up by 10. What a great play here for Ross. How well he has done. Earned it to deserve it. Toward him for three. Makes the triple as he goes up by seven, and they are battling up again. Try to pick up the run and 10 speed from those players. Ross trying to put some things around a bit. Finds Wagner. Fading three on Harris. Carter Jr. Anthony outside for three, and it hits the rim. Carter saves the ball, and he has to try to fix it up again. Ross, tough shot, but the defender has already picked up our number rebound. That's another miss here for Orlando. They can't be late. If, they, if they're late, then that's gonna be a definitely problem with that. Ross, back to Anthony, right over to Wagner, around Porter, and it goes in the paint. Wagner picking up another two-pointer here, and they're up by nine. 4.43 to go here in the fourth quarter. Gordon trying to look for an offense run. Wood on Cam Carter Jr. Tate on Harris, screen on Wood. Tate attacking the rim, and it goes in the paint. He scores a dunk. Oh, that's what I felt. Tate was there. He was realizing how he could try to fix things up a bit. And with Defender without him, he really had a lot of hard pressure on that one. Anthony, 4-10 to go. Carter Jr. rolls for three. Answers it back. Another three-pointer. And there is no question that he had made the three-throw line to hit three baskets. But he has already done it again. Oh, and another pressure goes on with another one. That's a, a, a scoring run. Porter Jr. still does it again. And a great D on Eric Gordon as it turns another one over on Magic. Now we used to the ball and now the change of his here. Now Mubamba will have to check in for the other player as, as Martin Jr. will have to sit out. Porter Jr. is out there. Martin Jr. is different. I see that. I understand what you're saying, but I guess that was a confusion here between Porter Jr. and Martin Jr. What's the different uh, different range of this one? There's nothing else. Anthony, outside. Back to Harris. 
Now the screen. Now I have to start trying to give it up. Carter, unable to take the layup, but that will be another miss on Orlando. They're keeping the ball here or just like that. They're really trying to go for the answer back. But they didn't really have, have any time to try to pick up the run. As for John Green, he always had five points in the first half. But he all now has six points. He might be able to take another one again. Wagner right to Harris. He dishes off to Carter Jr. up with a shot. Mo Bamba, a saving rebound. And he makes another basket. That's Bamba with eight points. Mo Bamba. He showed up that point. I think the fans are going to love him. Now ball's loose. Another one. Cole Anthony with the ball. Here comes Bamba. He goes in. Oh, what a dunk. And that turned out to be a Bamba slam dunk. What a play here. That Bamba is like going insane. They say, here, ready or not, here I come. And boom, he made that dunk. Oh, Gordon trying to slam it off, and he gets ripped up on the court here on the floor. I'm trying to answer that one here back. He says, is that what fans think of me? There is no competition maybe, between Bamba and Eric Gordon. Taking another one, and another steal by Eric Gordon. Another turnover on Orlando Magic. They're down by 10. Green still trying to fix this thing a bit. Green up. And another miss by Houston. That turned out to be another miss. Carter Jr. right over to Wagner. Wagner finding a look on offense and defense. Finds Bamba. Bamba again. He makes another two-pointer. That's 12 in a row. Obama's still like on the on a sketch. He's like on a he's like on the killer that not that time. He really has it. Gordon able to take the drive up angle. And that will be another bucket for Eric Gordon with 11 points and 8 in the paint. The second half as the full regulation is almost come to a close with only coming down the last minute in the ball game. Wagner out with the shot. Tough shot, and he missed off the rim. Porter Jr. trying to be able to survey on D. Never screen here on Tate. Finds Tate on Carter Jr. Gordon for three. Answers it back. They're coming back in there by seven. Anthony will have to uh, try to call a timeout here. And they will have to try to uh, fix it over a bit on offense. Just 30.5 seconds. Obama's heat strength on the run is like carrying it off. That's how hard he has done with amazing play. And with all that moment, he really had it all. I'm sure that he's doing really well. He's keeping it on right on the setup. Some couple changes here just in case. And stay tuned for the next game. We've got the Bulls versus the Raptors. It will be at Toronto for the, for the third time to fourth time. They'll be playing out there on the other hand. And that will be another one to take it from here on a, a second time, the third time of the season. Now let's present your New Balance player of the game. This one goes out to one of the best players again. This is Kevin Porter Jr. Kevin Porter Jr., he really is out. He never missed that bucket any time he has done here for tonight. That will be a very tough score for him. But even in this game, that is just, just amazing of this killer for tonight. Hampton right to Okiki. Kiki shot, doesn't hit that run, and they are trying to go for the attack. Tate, finding Gordon, and another bucket here for Gordon, and it won't be enough to do it from here. And that will be called on personal foul on Green, his first. 
And now all the players will be checking in at each time. Augustine, Christopher, no Nora, and some other players here keeping it on this one. And now the next foul turned out to be TJ Augustine, their third team foul on Houston. Stop the clock at six seconds. And that will be two on one for Cole Anthony. Just shoot two. It's the first free throw. A lot of good matchups on here in between those guys. And now they're all changing it up again on Houston. For the Junior Green, Gordon Tatum Wood. Turning out to be almost a starting five. Exactly. I always know about them here, but a little bit more better. That's what I always hear. And Anthony hits the second free throw with another two pointer. Next timeout called by Houston with six seconds left. And the time is running out here just enough to get there. And with the uh, figuration of the correct, I will, there will be Wizards and Mavericks to take it from here for the second to last game of the season before we head over to the playoffs on 2K22. There might be some uh, tough relationship going on here with uh, James Harden and Russell Westbrook. He was definitely playing with the Lakers, and now he has a chance to try to keep this thing up. But that will be a hard decor run to try to face it up in the attack. be all that they have. It's just uh, just how, how obvious they take it from the other angle. That's all there is. And with just one more timeout between those teams, last possession for Houston. Augustine, a three, makes it in there, and now Magic will have to call timeout. It looks like they're getting close enough to just try to fix it across this is going to be a very tough matchup here. They try to go back inward to do another one. And now they're going to have to bring it back one of each players in here to try to fix it off. It's really hard, but that's definitely what they are all looking for. And speaking of the figuration here, we're very sorry, guys, who are, what, who are, who are still a fan of uh, the anime Sandy invitation on. We do recently, uh, we do recently apologize for the uh, confusion of this state, and we're probably getting the delays here because of the COVID. We're not sure if we're going to keep this one going, but we will find out what the exit interview is next before the next episode, and I think it will be next month on February. Uh, we're, we're not sure if we're, we're going to keep continuing this one right ahead. But we'll find out what you see. And now the new change back up here for the starting five. Anthony, trying to pick your run, and they will stop from here as the ball game is over. Your final score for tonight is Orlando 51 and Houston 47. A lot of plays here, especially the Bomba, man. Blocking all the kills. It's just how hard it is. I'm really surprised at how this all turned out. It's an incredible game. And now we catch you over to David Owens for the finishing game of the season. It's all yours, David. Wendell, a great win. What were you guys thinking about coming into the game? Uh, I was trying to start a winning streak to take into this game. And, uh, you know, we got a good road win the other day. So we're just trying to get these fans what they've been waiting for. I'm going to go home happy, man. Thanks very much. Back to you. Thanks, David. And without being said, we can't be appreciated to uh, thank you for watching with us here for our game of Magic and Houston Rockets. With all the courtesy of the NBA of the anniversary season, we can't appreciate you for, for sticking with us and supporting the team. And now, let's present the three stars of the game of NBA. Here are the three. Starting with you, Son of Beast. Number three, we have some uh, some amazing plays that turned out to be just like that. And without before, it's El Cole Anthony. Was able to make the top three, how well he had done. But that's uh, just a quite example in his nation. 
on his run to take it from the other side. Number two we have is another player that turned out to be just like that. It's Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon really taking from uh, on the other side of it. 16 points, no blocks on that one. Didn't really have to uh, worry about that. And without being a foul call, it didn't really help out. And you're number one for this player. Who do we have? I think there's one. And I especially say that everybody loves him. It's Mo Bamba. Mohan Bamba with an uh, incredible performance with three blocks, seven rebounds, and 12 points in the game. Only one foul was given off and just a performance on the dunk with one. And that should include the game with me, phone, and Son of Beast. This has been a production here of Son of Beast game for the, for the NBA here on 2K Sports. We can appreciate you. Make sure to subscribe. And without any of our uh, call-ins on that one here, an anime and sanity invitational will return just next month or two. Until further notice for that one. So with that, thanks for joining us. And peace out everyone for us a while as the NBA 2K22 dial. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Take care.